I am Laurel Johnson. I live here in Grand Forks with my dog, Britta, the giant schnauzer. Dr. Britta, she's doing wrong. We've been doing pet therapy visits since 2014 with the Alliance of Therapy Dogs. Laurel Johnson has known her purpose for most of her life, to help others. But Laurel never works alone. And everyone gets excited as a perky puppy the first time they meet Britta. This is Dr. Britta, TD. There are other organizations that will use cats or birds or even miniature horses, but we're with Alliance of Therapy Dogs, so we have dogs that are at least a year old so they can mature. Britta is a therapy dog, but that's not quite the same thing as a service dog. Instead, therapy dogs have a more nuanced job to provide emotional support during times of stress or anxiety. Unlike service dogs, therapy dogs like Britta welcome attention and affection. For me, really, the nutshell of all boiling it down to what pet therapy is, it's a healthy distraction. Britta may not be certified to fly, at least not yet. But nonetheless, she has become an important part of the University of North Dakota's aerospace program. She is a curious canine who is never barking up the wrong tree. Her first commands were in German. But it's just so other people can't be giving the dog commands what they are supposed to do or not do. I want to be petted. <laughs> this is what I love doing. This 10-year-old pup is performing some pretty heroic work. Nearly 40% of U.S. college students report feeling depressed within the past 12 months. Those numbers can be even more daunting for pilots. Laurel has plenty of experience as part of a therapy team. She has been doing it for most of her life starting as a child by comforting elderly neighbors with her dog, Tiger. I started doing pet therapy when I was probably six. Then I found out that there was such a thing. There were books written about pet therapy, how to do it, and it was kind of like a little match made in heaven. Now, as an adult, Laurel has a new companion, one who graduated from the doghouse to making house calls. She knows she's working. She can sense if they're scared, if they're really nervous. She'll put her head on their leg and we'll just stay there and let them just pet her. Then they're getting the tactile experience of petting her. It's a soothing thing for the person to experience. Nowhere is their work more important than on the University of North Dakota Aerospace Campus. Following a winter tragedy involving a student pilot, both Laurel and Britta leapt into action. I knew that a therapy dog might be helpful in the situation. We've sort of been adopted by aerospace. These student pilots can spend a lot of time away from their friends and family, in the air and in the classroom, which can be rough on their mental health. But therapy dogs provide crucial companionship and social support, which can help pilots feel less isolated and anxious. This is card. Hello. You can have that. I hand out her business card to the students. They love that. She's on many people's refrigerators, in their wallets, in their cars. She's with them pretty much everywhere. Yay! Now Laurel and Britta have become such a possum team that they have been invited to speak at events like the 2022 Aerospace Mental Health Symposium at the University of North Dakota. It's an honor a lifetime in the making, but for Britta, it's just another opportunity to make a difference. I just want to mention the term zoea. Zoea is now the study of the benefits of bringing animals and humans together. It's my passion. It gives my life a lot of purpose and meaning. Thank you for pausing to talk about paws, animal paws, and to learn a bit about pet therapy. I just like being in a place where I can help people and encourage people and just lighten their load by a little bit.
They're so serious. Well, hello there. <laughs>